hi guys welcome back to this youtube channel so today i will be sharing with you some of my best video editing apps in my phone as a youtuber you are constantly making videos constantly editing these videos to your taste looking for ways to like improve your video editing skills because i mean you do not want to just remain at like you don't want to remain on a spot right if you're a beginner and you make your videos on your phone then definitely you are going to be sourcing for apps that you would want to use to edit your videos okay maybe you've tried using one app before and then you feel like oh you'd like to try something else to see if you would switch or if you would remain on this you know on the default app that you've been using i have been able to do quite an amount of research i have tried out some video editing apps and um, i kind of decided to stick to these three apps that i am about to show you now any video i make i actually get to use one of these apps or even two of them sometimes but i try to stick to one because it's just going to be more hard work for you editing here and then carrying over here you want to be able to do everything in one app and just finish up and go over to another um, task so yeah if this is something you are interested in sit back keep on watching and let's go Okay, so we're back. Hi guys, my name is Claire. If this is your first time seeing me here, you are so welcome. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more content like this. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you. I'm sending hugs. So if you make videos, I am pretty sure that once in a while, like I said, you're always trying to research on trying out different apps or you know different things that can help you step up your game, right? And create that video masterpiece. So right now I'm just going to be sharing with you the three apps that I use in editing my videos in my phone. So I'm going to be starting with my least best editing app up to my best best editing app, okay? This is just my own order of arrangements, okay? First one, which is like my least fave, is Video Leap. Video Leap is actually a really 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 good video editing app right but for a beginner or for someone that doesn't even like paying for for apps you know like paying to get those other pro features and stuff video leap would probably be your least because a lot of their features have to be paid for you have to subscribe to their premium package subscribing to their premium package yes that's great but if you are not constantly making videos or you just want to try out a one-time thing then you could just try the app out and see some of the features that they have and see how it can actually suit you i don't use video leap so much but the times that i have tried using it i actually liked it i think you should try it out and let me know what's up if you subscribe to their premium package trust me you are going to enjoy video leap a lot because their transitions their effects they have a whole lot but if you do not want to pay if you don't want to spend money on any video editing app at all then i would not advise that you go for video loop yeah now my second best is CapCut. i love CapCut. it has a lot of transition options these transitions are you know they are really good they are really creative another thing about cap cuts is that it has like a really nice range of audios that you can pick from they have the types that you can use for like maybe vlogs travel it's one app that you can also use in editing and then immediately post the video you just edited straight to tiktok there's an option there after you save your video that you made you would see something like share to tiktok you could directly like immediately just share your videos to tiktok so if you are a really um good tiktok creator CapCut is amazing it makes your video interesting using CapCut may not be as easy as or as straightforward as a you know like other apps maybe for someone that is just trying it out for the first time but i promise you when you actually get a hang of it you would enjoy using cap cuts so now my best editing app right now at this moment is InShot. i have a detailed video on how to use 
this in short app to edit your own videos in short is like the easiest video editing app you could lay your hands on it's easy and then it also has like a whole bunch of really cool things that you can add to it the effects transitions in short doesn't have as much transition options as CapCut. i feel like after watching this video that i put up about how to edit your videos with InShot, you will actually be able to edit your videos properly. You won't want to be giving your videos out to somebody to edit for you. How long are you going to be doing that? How long are you going to be giving somebody your videos to edit for you? One good thing about editing your videos yourself is that you get to put in these videos according to your tastes. It is your video, so you gotta edit your video how you actually want it. One of the good things about InShot is it has a whole lot of audio features for you to pick from. Some of the sounds there may not be copyright free. Using um, any sound that isn't copyright free on YouTube, you're going to get copyright claims. To be on the safe side, you should pick from the InShot Classic. All of those sounds, they are copyright free, so you're gonna be safe there. The rest of the sounds, some of them are not, some of them are, so I do not know all the ones that have this and that have that so yeah these are the three apps that i use in editing my videos out of these three apps if there is any of them here that you have not used before i would suggest that you try it out if you want to okay and let me know how it went for you in the comment section before you go don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't yet and if you have Please turn on your notification bell so that every single time I upload a new video, you are always going to be one of the first people to see it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.